Profesor, Profesor Madia, Dr. Surveyor, Tom Planner, Tuan-Tuan dan Puan-Puan. Pertandingan GIS Iskandar Puteri merupakan pertandingan kali kedua dianjurkan oleh MBIP. Pada tahun 2019 yang lalu, MBIP telah menganjurkan pertandingan GIS Hackathon yang pertama bagi wilayah selatan. Kami berharap pertandingan ini akan dapat memupuk budaya inovasi supaya dapat melahirkan inovator antara kalangan mahasiswa dan CSR majlis dengan memberi peluang kepada mahasiswa menggunakan perisian GIS berlesen mencipta digital media mereka. Dengan sukacitanya, kami ingin memaklumkan sebanyak 32 pasukan dari UTM dan University of Reading menyertai pertandingan kali ini. Ahli pasukan terdiri daripada pelbagai jurusan. Analisis awal kami menunjukkan majoriti 47% daripada jurusan perancang bandar, 22% daripada jurusan landscape dan terdapat satu pasukan yang sangat unik di mana terdiri daripada gabungan jurusan. Tuan-tuan dan puan-puan, tema pertandingan kali ini adalah Story Map Creator Challenge. Misi pertandingan adalah mencipta sebuah cerita melalui peta untuk menerokai lokasi, kejadian dan trend yang bermakna kepada Iskandar Puteri melalui perisian RG Story Maps. Acara kemuncak seterusnya adalah ucapan pelancaran perasmian daripada Yang Berhormat Datuk Haji Muhammad Hafiz bin Haji Ahmad, Datuk Bandar Majlis Bandaraya Iskandar Puteri. Beliau sangat komited kepada pembangunan GIS dalam Iskandar Puteri kerana beliau percaya melalui teknologi ini juga adalah dapat memupuk kerjasama antara pihak berkuasa tempatan daerah Johor Bahru dan Kulai yang dikenali sebagai projek The Greater Johor Bahru. Hadirin dan hadirat sekalian, dengan segala hormatnya saya menjemput yang berhormat Datuk Haji Muhammad Hafiz bin Haji Ahmad Datuk Bandar Majlis Bandaraya Iskandar Puteri untuk menyampaikan ucapan dan seterusnya merasmikan pelancaran pertandingan GIS Iskandar Puteri Story Map Creator Challenge dengan segala hormatnya mempersilakan. Okay. Terima kasih uh, saudari pengacara majlis. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin. Wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyidina Muhammadin syafir anbiya iwal mursalin. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera yang dihormati para profesor, profesor Madya, Dr. Tom Trainer, Surveyor, tuan-tuan, puan-puan yang saya hormati sekalian. Daripada UTM, Universiti of Malaysia, MC of Reading Malaysia, Uh, Malaysia Institute of Planner, Southern Branch, uh, Royal Chartered Institute of Surveyor, Johor Bahru dan uh, SRI Malaysia uh, sebagai rakan usama Majlis Bandaraya Iskandar Puteri dalam pertandingan GIS Iskandar Puteri uh, 2023. Tonton tuan para peserta pertandingan ataupun uh, storyteller uh, yang saya kasih sekalian. Okey, uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, MBIP, Majlis Bandari Iskandar Puteri uh, dapat melaksanakan uh, pertandingan eh, Iskandar Puteri GIS Competition 2023 uh, Story Map Creator Challenge. Uh, saya ucapkan ribuan terima kasih atas kehadiran semua yang ada walaupun secara uh, virtual. Eh. Uh, saya harap kita dapat eh, uh, melaksanakan uh, pertandingan ini dengan uh, baik dan mencapai objektifnya. Uh, saya sangat uh, berbangga dengan kehadiran uh, uh, semua bersama MBIP. Ini satu aksi yang uh, uh, positif, eh, semangat dan sikap untuk uh, menyaut cabaran uh, perlu dihargai kerana inilah yang akan mendorong uh, para peserta ke tempat, eh, ke tahap yang lebih tinggi dan lebih jauh lagi. Pada hari ini yang saya kasih sekalian, uh, Majlis Bandaraya Iskandar Puteri telah memulakan usaha pendikitilan kaedah merekod perubahan guna tanah yang berlaku dalam kawasan pentadbiran MBIP sejak 19 tahun yang lalu. 
geodatabase uh, MBIP telah berkembang daripada hanya menyimpan data tanah kepada data yang berkaitan dengan pengurusan tanah, kemudahan dan kawasan pentadbiran jabatan kerajaan yang lain dalam kawasan pentadbiran dan status reserve awam, tempat pelancongan dan lain-lain untuk membantu uh, jabatan dalaman di MBIP memamparkan maklumat di dalam peta. Projek GIS yang dikenali sebagai One Map MBIP yang dimulakan pada tahun 2017 sebenarnya merupakan sistem ICT di majlis yang pertama berpaksi kepada reka bentuk enterprise architecture. Komponen utama iaitu geo portal uh, yang berupaya mempamerkan peta dan data untuk dikongsikan dengan orang awam dan kaki tangan telah membantu meningkatkan produktiviti majlis dan juga mendukung polisi data terbuka kerajaan. Kini uh, One Map MBIP telah menjadi sumber rujukan dan pelaporan utama untuk kaki tangan MBIP merangka tindakan menyelesaikan aduan awam dan dan mengunjurkan pembelanjaan majlis. Teknologi GIS juga telah membantu MBIP mengatasi communication bottleneck dan lack of supporting data melalui ciptaan Yo dashboard web app, web application dan aplikasi kutipan data on site. Dan MBIP merupakan PBT pertama di Malaysia yang menerima Special Achievement in GIS Award daripada Presiden dan Pengasas S3 Incorporated iaitu Mr. Jack Tejemon. Ianya dipilih daripada 300 ribu organisasi sedunia yang menggunakan teknologi GIS. Jabatan Tanah dan Sebi Sarawak dan juga Sendabi juga merupakan penerima uh, SAG 2022 dari Malaysia selain daripada pihak MBIP sendiri. Projek ini juga telah menjadi asas kepada pelbagai kerjasama antara agensi dalam negara dan antarabangsa. Antaranya projek Smart Integrated Mobility Management System ataupun CMS. Satu projek usaha sama dengan Business High Commissioner Malaysia bawah The Global Future Cities Program dan Iskandar Regional Development Authority. Projek My Eco Plan yang merupakan projek yang ditaja di bawah United Kingdom Partnering of Accelerated Climate Transition program uh, melalui usaha sama dengan pihak Plan Malaysia. Pihak MBIP mengucapkan terima kasih uh, kepada pasuk uh, pasukan Extreme Malaysia yang sentiasa bersama dengan pihak MBIP serta sangat berdedikasi di dalam memberi sokongan teknikal membantu MBIP melakukan uh, business processing reengineering. Kini projek yang dinamakan sebagai One, One Valuation, uh, One Valuation sedang berlangsung uh, di mana Jabatan Penilaian dan Pengurusan Harta Majlis Bandar Iskandar Puteri sedang membangunkan uh, proses kerja penyediaan laporan, ukur periksa, laporan penilaian, proses semakan dan kelulusan dengan menggunakan teknologi GIS. Kami percaya pada akhir projek ini, Uh, Eviden nilaian MBIP dapat dilihat dalam bentuk peta dan juga uh, graf yang interaktif berasaskan lokasi. Di samping itu, Jabatan Penilaian juga akan mempunyai pangkalan data GIS yang merekodkan kesemua rekod nilaian. Ini akan memudahkan proses penilaian semula dan menyokong nilaian cukai harta MBIP dengan pengumpulan bilangan data yang banyak untuk menjalankan uh, analitik. Tuan-tuan, puan-puan, para peserta sekalian, usaha mengurus 
perdanakan penggunaan GIS dalam urus takbir MBIP uh, telah menunjukkan kesan ke atas keadaan pelaksanaan kerja dan tempo operasi majlis. Teknologi ini juga merupakan enabler utama dalam the greatest jauh baru kerana kesemua bisnes PBT berlaku somewhere in our city. Di bawah the greater jauh baru yang diumumkan dalam belanjawan negeri Johor oleh Yang Amat Muhammad Menteri Besar pada uh, 1 Disember yang lalu, PBT dalam daerah Johor Bahru dan juga Kulai perlu meningkatkan uh, penyerasan dan juga kerjasama strategik ke arah pemantapan sistem takbir urus yang cekap dan juga berkesan. Pertandingan GIS Iskandar Putri adalah kali kedua kita anjurkan pada eh, kali ini oleh pasukan MBAP bersama pihak UTM, SRI Malaysia, uh, Malaysia Institute of uh, Planner, Southern Branch dan Royal Institute of Surveyor, uh, Johor Branch. Kali ini MBAP kembali semula dengan uh, satu projek uh, uh, tema story map. Eh? Ia merupakan satu aplikasi yang membenarkan uh, yang menciptanya eh, menyampaikan idea mereka melalui kombinasi tulisan, peta dan pelbagai bentuk multimedia. Saya berpendapat uh, teknologi ini dapat membantu uh, pemain industri hartanah dan juga komuniti meningkatkan keberkesanan komunikasi. MBIP berharap pertandingan ini akan menjadi satu titik permulaan yang akan mencetus idea satu idea baru yang dapat memberi manfaat kepada masyarakat di sekitar Iskandar Puteri. Hasil pertandingan dan rekod ke atas perjalanan pertandingan ini juga dapat dijadikan bahan komunikasi strategik untuk menarik perhatian agensi-agensi lain supaya memberi perhatian ke atas Uh, story yang dicipta oleh pihak tonton perempuan semua. Pertandingan ini juga merupakan pertandingan berpasukan uh, teamwork eh kerana kami bersetuju dengan konsep teknologi is best when it brings people together. Uh, kenapa bertiga dalam satu kumpulan? Kerana uh, kali yang ketiga iaitu lembar itu tidak eh tidak mudah putus. Eh? Jadi perlu ada teamwork kat sini. MVP juga berharap serta menggalakkan semua storyteller dapat bergaul dengan kawan-kawan baru, mengenali kawan daripada berbagai uh, jurusan, fakulti dan universiti uh, melalui pertandingan ini. Eh? Tuan-tuan perempuan sekalian, uh, Pengayuh sudah hari tangan, eh, perahu sudah hari air, okay. tabir sudah tergantung, tikar sudah terbentang. Okay. Dengan itu, saya dengan Fas Bismillahirrahmanirrahim merasmikan pertandingan GIS Iskandar Puteri 2023 Story Map Creator Challenge. Kepada storyteller, terima kasih ke atas penyertaan anda dan MBIP berharap anda memperolehi satu pengalaman yang unik uh, sepanjang uh, pertandingan ini uh, berlangsung. Okay. Uh, so saya sekali lagi mengucapkan ribuan terima kasih kepada semua yang terlibat dalam menjayakan uh, program uh, pertandingan Iskandar Puteri GIS Competition 2023 Story Map Creator Challenge. Okay. Sekian dari Taufik Wahidaya. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih semua. Terima kasih diucapkan kepada Yang Berhormat Datuk di atas ucapan dan perasmian sebentar tadi. Semoga apa yang diharapkan oleh Yang Berhormat Datuk dapat direalisasikan dalam bentuk peta dan graf yang lebih interaktif di akhir pertandingan ini. Di samping teknologi ini dapat membantu komuniti Iskandar Puteri meningkatkan keberkesanan komunikasi. Untuk merakamkan kenangan, Tuan Puan di pohon membuka kamera untuk bersama-sama sesi bergambar.
Okay, ready semua? K1. K1, 2, 3. Senyum. Okay. Second time. 1, 2, 3. Bagi melancarkan perjalanan pertandingan pada sesi petang ini Sesi penerangan dan syarat penyertaan akan disampaikan oleh Ketua Pertandingan iaitu Town Planner Chu Li Ting, Penolong Pengarah Jabatan Perancangan Pembangunan Majlis Bandaraya Iskandar Puteri dan diikuti sesi penerangan oleh Cik Nur Erni Binti Ramlan daripada Esri Malaysia. Dengan ini, saya menjemput Town Planner Chu Li Ting selaku Ketua Pertandingan untuk menyampaikan penerangannya. Dengan segala hormatnya, dipersilakan. Hello kepada storytellers. Selamat petang. I wish you can see me from this room. Selamat petang kepada semua. Selamat petang kepada semua. Welcome back to our event. We apologize on the technical issue that we are having here. Tetapi sekarang I percaya semua dah ready to go. So I namakan you all ialah kita punya storytellers.
So, nama kan you all kita punya storytellers sebab pada tahun 2019 sebenarnya kita telah pernah menjalankan sekali punya pertandingan sedemikian. So, in 2019, our team is actually hackathon. So, what means by hackathon, actually at that time we got 14 teams. Also, three of them in one group and we named them 42 hackers. So, what those hackers did in the past few years, actually they have 20 hours to create one apps, web apps in a 20 hours time and after that you will end with presentation and pitching. So their app may be not perfect but they already show us an idea. So I'm very impressed with their creation. So some of them even come up with a very meaningful apps just like a finding emergency specialist. So they sort out the information from the hospital, private hospital, specialist hospital around Johor Bahru information. So when you are at the time of emergency, you need pediatric or what you can search through the apps. So you know that do they have pediatric standby in emergency land 24 hours. So this is something which is actually during emergency and they sort the information in a very structured manner. So as what mentioned by Mayor of Iskandar Putri, the purpose for this event actually is connect with people. So to connect with people is we need a teamwork. This is why th this competition is designed in the form of three of you in one group. So I'm not going to elaborate further. I'm going to bring you to the warming up session because since now we are all on virtual mode. So I wish all of you can have a chance to kenal antara each other. So let's us start with the Microsoft whiteboard. Okay, this game, I name it, we are the same. So the Sydney, actually your objective is you have to, you can create your own, you, here we have 12 statements. So you have to choose the statement that best suit you. For example, like I already putting my note here. CLT is my short form. You can use the name, wherever the name, simply put out the name that people normally call you or you can share with us what you want to be called. So like I never climb or no climb. So you got 12 here, which you can select the statement you the three statements that describe you the best so the sim is very simple you can just click on the plus button create choose a posit node and expand it right on it your name and you can repeat copy and right click and paste it so you can stack up with on top of it. So I wish every one of you can have a hello. Yeah, I throw some. So please, we give you one minute's time to study on this screen and choose three description that suit you the best. Here we go. So we can know who is having similarity with us. So I want to know who also like me, don't like fast food. <laughs> or oh, you are a man, enjoy cooking. Have you ever conquered a mountain? Are you birthday boy or girl for this December? Or part-time, do you run some business, e hurling And, and do, do we, can we find someone which is inside this meeting with no Instagram account? without any Instagram account. Yeah, see food allergic, kaki injured, Portugal for life. Can you put your name here? I know yesterday Portugal win. So I also would like to check, actually this group and crazy for football, how many hours actually they sleep? Do they sleep yesterday night? So just put your name here.
Yeah, we are getting more and more and more. then you will have a big problem in your menu selection. Okay, I think we have a lot of it so we can see. Maybe later, if you are the one who posts your name and select this statement, maybe you can just raise your hands Say hello to everyone here. So don't like fast food. Only I'm the only one who don't like fast food here. So everyone we have how many logins here? 81 logins here. So everyone love fast food except me. I'm the only alien. Seems like that. <laughs> so yeah. Then this in this column, gray color column. We can see the Rao. Hi, hi, R A W R. Such as boiled water. I don't think this is cooking. A A L sky. So for girls in this room, please attention to this, to to those statement here. Those names here. I would say that they are the one who suitable to select as husband. So M T M T M T did conquer which mountain? So Mojo, Mojo love camping, fishing and eating, but he yet to tell us which mountain actually he ever conquered it. So we have a lot of December babies here. Trisha and FF and happy birthday to you. And today we have a very special Nodini is also having birthday. So next time maybe I, we should ask who is having birthday today. So only one. Eh, no, I like rice or are you sure this is a name or a nickname? Okay, we only have one e holding driver here. So no wonder actually I would say a lot of university students is having difficulty in getting grabs, driver, or supply or any service. So wow, in this group actually is those students who come from uh, very far away from Johor, Iskandar Putri and Skudai. So there's someone from Tawau, but there's someone also a very naughty boy say he drive or a girl drive very slow. So five hours time to back home. So welcome to Skudai and Iskandar Putri. I wish you have a good time here. And all of us, I think seems like have Instagram account and we have a few person with seafood allergic here. And I don't like seafood, but I'm allergic to eat and I still eating like nothing happened. Who this Nabila is a very brave girl. I wish you enjoy this competition. So okay, yeah. Actually, I would like to know when I'm asking this question. I want to a lot of people is at home in home at home now. Actually, you should share with us your name so that we are know we know who are you. Kaki injured. Okay, poor guy. I wish you have a speedy recover. So. This one, someone maybe I didn't look it. So yeah, who don't like call? There's a lot of people. Rupanya don't like calling. Yes, I found out you all as Zig generation or millenniums. Actually, you all really don't like talking. You are more comfort with text and er everything. Yeah, there's a lot of people in this category, and this is the group that who didn't sleep have a good sleep last night. I think. Yeah, Protuga, I know. Sex, sex one with Switzerland. So Brajay is the king. Oh, I wonder does Brajay. Uh, Morocco, yeah, Morocco is some very, I would say, black horse for this year. 
yeah, Morocco, yeah, Muridi, yeah, I, I know they have their conflict in their team, but so far they are doing well in this time, FIFA World Cup. So, yes, we have it here. So out of these 84 of you, only one or two is twins. So I think the possibility is, is good, is high. And thank you for your participation. I wish from here you can at least know who having same similarity with you. So I'm going to go back to the explanation about this present this pertandingan. So stay with me. So I'm from the 2019 experience. Actually, my team from Majlis Bandar Iskandar Putri, we are very proud with our this CSR. We consider this pertandingan GIS actually is our year and CSR. We will try to have it every two years. So this time we have you as our storytellers. So your mission actually is to create a remarkable story with maths for your readers to explore locations, events, and trends that matter in Iskandar Putri. This means that your story must have some relationship with Iskandar Putri. Maybe it's not fully happened, the incidents or events fully happens in Iskandar Putri. You can compare Iskandar Putri scenario with KL region or with another place in this world. So this is the power of when you are telling story with maps. You can compare, you can tell, you can navigate your user from one place to one place. And this time around, you have 23 days creation time. So this competition shall begin at uh, 8 December. So not 5th December, 8 December. And ending time is still the same, Saturday on 31st December. So we, you are required to fill up a form before the competition period and, and you need to give the information about where you embed these web apps but story maps but no worry we will try we will issue notification email to remind you before the ending so what to submit a team must submit their story in one of the following two categories so in the uh, final submission form you have to tick actually your story is created you claim your story is under which categories and of course this is the price MVIP is a uh, very luxury in supporting of GIS technology. So for each category, the winners will take back gold, silver, bronze, and we have also special mention. This special mention is for certain projects, the certain story maps, which actually means a lot and can create an imp impact and inspire people. So this competition is only open to all students registered from UTM and your are to tell your story using RG story maps. So you can actually bring a lot of multimedia into this application. So you must form a team of three to take part in this competition. So I wish you are sitting with your team member virtually here. So this is the key submission that so we are having the submission that so what is going to happen to be next is your unique story must be published and remain publicity the publicly visible without login and submit your URL to the submission form, Yang, which I was uh, just now I remind about that. So we will email to you before the date. So condition of entry, we have seven here. So these seven conditions, we will also email to you. It's available for you later after this launching for you to have a better understanding on this. So let's go to the judging criteria. So those are the criteria that our judges are looking at. So our judges will come from the Joe Spasher background. So Royal Institute uh, Chartered Surveyor. So what the judges are looking should be the originality, innovation, the cartography style is effective, the use of data is appropriate, 
non-original contents are properly referenced or linked to other sources. Overall presentation with the apps or story maps is effective in informing about the topic. Overall items details is clear and complete. Joe's partial analysis is evidence, appropriate and effective. And last teamwork. So to all storytellers of today, so we hope you can stay with us until the end of this competition. And when you submit your story maps, this is the entitlement for all the storytellers. So those physical items will be collected on 16 January, which tentatively we will having our majlis pembentangan dan penyampaian hadiah. So we will invite the winners to auditorium MBIP to present in front of our mayors and share with our councillors members about your story. So what is going to happen next after today is this slide will be emailed and the re video recording will be shared via email to you on 9 December. So the guidance to log in to MBIP job portal page for this uh, competition will be shared also via an email together with the ID to log in to MBIP job portal page. All ID will be shared to every group leader separately. So I repeat here. So the group ID for three members will only be shared to the group leader, which in the registration form, we already explained that the, the one, the name, the first putting as a team member one should be the group leader because this ID is dedicated to every person participates this competition. So we wish you, your group can hold this ID and this creator ID is valid for 60 days. So within these 60 days, actually there's a lot of resources you can reuse in the event page. So if you have any FAQ, we hope you can put it in the chat or you can separately write email to MBIP personnel Farafat farafatin at mbip.gov.my because you all will receive our email so that you'll be here today. So you can just communicate with us via the email. So we will centralize and reply to you. So now I'm going to pass the floor to our Chek Noor Amy Ramlam from Azri Malaysia. So Amy is actually a very experienced geospatial scientist. So her background is very robust, but is always focus about geospatial. So she did work with Sandabi as a geospatial scientist and also a research program for United Nations Development Program in Johor. So here I pass the floor to Amy. So Amy, you are having the floor now. Thank you, Madam. Yeah. 
Okay, now. Alright, a very good morning. Uh, very good morning to Datuk Bandar, uh, MPIP staff, and also uh, adik-adik from University Technology Malaysia, sister-sister, brother-brother from University of Malaysia. What the sister? Uh, firstly, I'm introduce myself. I'm not Amy Ramlan. Uh, this one, this one is a casual session, so you guys, for the student, boleh panggil akak. Yeah, uh, definitely I'm older than you all guys. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm not Amy Ramlan. I'm as an industry consultant, Nestle in Malaysia. So basically, today, uh, before that, may I know how many of you have experience, uh, using StoryMap? Okay, zero from Reading Malaysia. Anyone from UTM? <laughs> look down. Okay, anyone from UTM? Oh, yeah. never also. Okay, now I know why you are here. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, we go straightly to our agenda today. So basically, basically, Okay, sorry for the interruption just now. Okay. So basically. <laughs> Maybe I need to sing first. <laughs> Okay, so we just go straightly to our agenda. Basically, my presentation will will cover on what is a just story map, the use of the story map, how we want to get started with story map, and also the widget inside the story map, how we want to share the story map. So, lepas dah buat penat-penat buat story map, of course, we want to share, kan? So, uh, and also what's new on story map. And last, the last part will cover on demonstration. So basically, uh, so basically, what is IG story map? Okay, this one, my presentation, I'm using story map. I'm not using a uh, slide anymore because this one is one of the innovation in presentation. So basically, my background is geospatial. So of course, I can go to GIS product. Kan? So this one is uh, the product of uh, GIS, which is the story map. Basically, uh, the use for story map, uh, kita boleh buat on presentation, on public <coughs> engagement, annual report, portfolio, resume, and so many more. Okay, uh, yang uh, I difahamkan ada juga, uh, ada juga storyteller yang bukan daripada background Geospatial GIS, so don't worry. Uh, don't worry because story map is you can use story map uh, to to create the story. By the way, uh, okay. Now we go to on how how we want to start with the story map. Okay, story map me. It is the easy. I can say the easiest um, easiest apps for us to start. I learned on how to do this story map just within one night. So I can guarantee you within 15 minutes, you can master on how to do the story map. But bear in mind, no money guarantee. Eh? Okay. All right. So this is the simple, this is the simple widget inside the story map. Uh, you can see here. This is the only option in story map. 
sikit kan? But it is a very functional. Okay, because inside the story map, we can make a map. See, kita ada, uh, kita ada uh, a very, uh, I mean, very, kita ada banyak pilihan of map. This one. But before that, kalau you nak buat uh, story map, you need to have an account untuk masuk at the story map. Okay. So this is uh, uh, the interface on the map yang kita boleh masuk. You can just straightly pin the card mana direction you want to go. And also we can, uh, biasalah kita akan boleh masukkan image. Okay. Kalau you, kalau you guys tengok, uh, there is a different presentation between uh, above here and down here. You can see you can. Boleh nampak kan? This one, uh, this part dia berjalan-jalan. It's walking around and this part is static. Okay, so... Uh, Dalam, dalam story map, you may choose the sidecar. I mean, side, uh, sidecar is a scrolling and a slide base. So, you nak masukkan, I mean, if you want to do the presentation, also can using the slide, uh, using the story map. Okay, uh, because you have the, you have three options. Uh, if you want to use, if you want to use the dock, the floating, uh, the floating map, and also the slideshow. Okay, another, uh, another widget uh, in story map is the map tool. Means that uh, there are two different types of map tool inside the story map, which is the guided tool and the explorer tool. So, inside the guided tour and the explorer tour also uh, there subsequently has two different layout. Okay. Um, that you may I I already I just said you can the explanation inside here, but don't worry, I will share this, I will share this story map to you all so that you can study on your own. Basically, uh Basically, what makes the our story map is different with the presentation is because the present of the uh, the present of the guided tour, the map tour, uh, the map tour and the guided tour. Okay. So once you have done, I mean, once you you settle the uh, you settle putting all the information inside your story map. So. The last part is you want, of course, you want to publish because uh, because this one is a competition, kan? So once you dah buat, kalau you tak publish, macam mana you nak menang hadiah, kan? So there also uh, there also option to publish and share to uh, to the organization and to public. Okay, this one is uh, another widget dalam uh, story map, which is this one. Okay, swipe me, you all boleh gunakan just to show uh, the before and after image. This one before, and this one after the flood, the flood event, see? Okay. So can, can PPT do this or not? Of course not. Let me answer your son. Okay, this one is uh, on how you want to publish and share your story map. The, uh, once you settle, you just click the publish and automatically uh, your story map will be published. But however, if you want to edit, you, once you publish, you can edit and you can publish again. Uh, the story map will not be redundant because it will replace uh, the, 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 you, it will replace the old one. Okay, so previous vision, previous version on the story map, that don't have the undo button. So the under but the undo button on the current version. Uh, so we have the undo button on the uh, in the current version. So this is so you guys are lucky lah. 
because before this, if you salah buat, you need to do all over again because don't have the undo, the undo button. And also the image editor. Okay, once uh, you can edit the image that you insert. So this one is a, a video, short video on how to edit the image. You, you boleh pilih sama ada you nak the, the, the frame is a rectangle or the circle. And you may crop as well the, the picture. So at the markup, markup section, you can edit, uh, you can edit your picture, your image. And also you can pin, you can put the number. Then after you've done the editing, you just click save. Okay. So let's, so how, actually how we want to create the great storytelling. Okay, let me give you, this is some, a few tips on how to make your story map sing along. Okay. So this is like, and this is what I told you before. This is uh, for the slide presentation. You may you may also uh, include your story map. Uh, you may also include your slide into the story map. So, uh, okay. For the first tip is you must, you need to start your story map with a figure, with a fact and figure. Okay. The second, the second trick is um, you add a hero into your story map. So let's say you are, okay, uh, let's say you are doing the story map uh, regarding the flood event. So who is the hero in helping the flood victim uh, during the flood victim in MBIP uh, for the past years? Okay. The third one is your story must be in sequence. So that your story, uh, so that your story need rhythm, so that everyone could understand what is what is you are what you are trying to deliver and what you're trying to what you're trying to present. Number four is okay. Story map is not the uh, story map is not the assignment where you can put all the words inside inside it. Okay, little word is sufficient enough because. People is more attract on image, uh, animation, instead of the words itself. Okay, uh, the fifth tips is you please make sure that the image, I mean the size of image, uh, you choose correctly, because not uh, not necessary the bigger picture uh, you can put into your uh, story map. The number six is just uh, just construct your story map different with others. You need to think big and you need to explore. Okay, uh, also in story map, you got the function of zoom in and zoom out of the picture. So use that function. So uh, use that function. Okay, so now, uh, it, this present, if you just listen to me, it's boring, right? So now it's time for demonstration on how to start with the story map. Okay. So for those who never use story map, you need to you need to see how I start with the story map. Otherwise, you cannot win that two thousand.
All right, so once you get the license or once you get the I mean, uh, yeah, the license to a goal for this online, you can, uh, you just straightly can log in and just please go to this and please search the uh, this story name. Here. Okay. And just click the new story. Start from scratch. Copy the uh, copy and I uh, mean, chipla uh, ataupun ambil orang lain punya story is really prohibited. Okay. Okay, now let me start first on how first is once you the identify you not whatever you just put you just put your title. For example, for this night for this demo, I just put uh, the flashcard event. Okay, so Add cover image. Okay. Once you the identify your title and also you the upload your punya image, you can design. You can design it. Macam mana you nak? Panjang ke pendek ke tepi ke tengah? It's up to you. This is the option. Okay. Which one? Which one is suit you better? You can choose. So, so I would prefer this one. Okay. Navigation. Uh, I would suggest strongly recommended to open the navigation. Why? I will tell you after this. Okay. Select the team. So once this one is done, we can straightly go to the body of your story. So to, at the content block, you need to go to the text. Okay. For the I mean for the every for the every topic. For every topic, you need to change to heading. So heading. So once you once you change it to the heading, it will appear up here. Okay. So. This copy text. So for the body, you can maintain the paragraph. Sorry, I just copy and paste because we have we have not, not so much time. Okay. Okay, now on how you want to insert the image. Okay, you have you just click at the block, the content block, image. This one also you can <clears throat> you can edit here. And also this is the option. If you want to, I mean if you if if your image got explanation, you can use this float left and float right. If no, then you just choose here. And also there are options for that caption. Okay, once the okay, once the big topic is ended, you can add the separator. Okay. This is just to differentiate between your main uh, I mean between the topic, sub different topic.
Okay, if you want to, if you want to bold, if you want to bold something, there is here is the option. You can bold, you can italic, and also you can change the color. So the second subtopic is what is the flashback? Remember that all for the big big topic always convert it to heading. Here it will appear up here. So what is flash flag? So always start with a simple definition. Our simple expectations. Okay, so basically you want to add image. Okay, you can you can add multiple image. Okay, how you want to add the multiple image? You need to open the image gallery. You need to create your <coughs> image gallery. Okay, once you created the image gallery, and now you may add how many how many image you like to make it as a collage. Okay. All right. Okay, now we go straightly to uh, uh, we go straightly on how you want to uh, to tell the audience based on the timeline. Okay, so you may use sorry, you may use the timeline here and choose whichever design that you want. So maybe I choose the single side just to show. The flood event that happened in Iskandar Putri, for example, 2007, 2020, 2021. Okay, here, you may add, you may add the image. Now you see your story made that empty. You see, I mean, you got you got a flow on your story made. First, your introduction, what is your flash plug? And also, you already insert the image and all the information that related to flash plug and also the timeline. Okay, the next is uh, on how we want to insert the map. Okay. The map tool. Here you may add <clears throat> you may add your location. For example, now you are in University Reading Malaysia. Okay, now yes. here already semua dah bangun. I mentioned you with University Reading. Not in location, man. Eh? 
Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, so here UTM Sanjungan Bangsa. You just directly add to me. Okay. So uh so you yeah, automatically zoom to the location of UTM Sanjungan Bangsa. Yeah, they all they all are suka. I I what Idu City. Idu City. Okay, there, there, there is the location. Oh, okay, so the case ini, once you the letak location, the letak map, you can add image to support your location. So you boleh duplicate. I mean, okay. So for this slide, the case ini, you boleh letak. Okay, here you. Untuk this one, you letak Ibu City. This one, kita pergi at location, kita pergi UTM. I just want to be fair. Okay, UTM. Okay. I tak letak, I tak letak MBIP eh. <laughs> Tengok marah eh MBIP. So at location. Okay, so. This slide, you dah pergi dekat University Idu City and this one is UTM. So this is how you play around to add your location. Okay, so we go, we go on how we want to use the sidecar, sidecar like, like I mentioned just now in my previous presentation. We just go to the sidecar and maybe we can choose a floating. Here, you can add your image or map. IP. <laughs> so fair, huh? thank you. <laughs> this one, the bandara. Pandaraya. Pandaraya. Oh, sorry, eh. Sorry. <laughs> it's Pandaraya. And that's it. Okay. Add to me. Okay. Betul -betul. Please, man. Okay. Now, kita punya background. MBIP. Okay, 
Okay, so now kita dah buat sampai sini, I nak try preview. Jadi kita dah buat banyak kan? So kita try preview dulu. Tapi once you preview, you dah tak boleh, you dah tak boleh ada activate anda. Uh, see, you see my 10 minutes of story map? Uh, okay, this one, you can, uh, I mean, which section you want to go first, you just click up here. Because tadi kita dah set heading kan? So, this one, the atas ni, is appear for the heading one. Okay. Okay, this one yang I, this one yang I mentioned, the image the collage image and this one the timeline and this one the in, the map and the location that we insert just now okay here here is the sidecar which is once you can scroll down the map mbip uh, takkan takkan bergerak lah. So tuan tanah kita takkan bergerak. So once kita dah preview, then kita nak edit balik, you just can click close. Continue editing macam biasa. Okay. So uh, so the next part is on how on how to on how to view the pre and post image of the flag. Okay. Okay, biasanya kalau kita nak view the pre and post, we basically will use the slide function. Sorry, the swipe function. So we just enter the swipe function. Just put the image before. After. Okay, so your image will be like this. So the, the swipe function is now function. Okay, now. Okay, now how we want to put the link, the cut word. Maksudnya, once kita click that word, dia boleh terus directly uh, bawa kita ke for, for the certain, uh, dia akan bawa kita, locate kita to the certain website. Okay, uh, for example, here, Johor Bahru. We click here, dia akan terus, okay. First is, you need to highlight this one. Click the link, 
sorry. You paste the link here. Sorry. First, this is his example. No? Okay. So, tadi, again, it's highlighted here. Click the link and paste, paste the URL. Enter and after you publish, it will bring you. Once you click, it will automatically bring you the Wikipedia site. Okay. All right. So next one is how we want to. The last one is helpful resources. So once you click here, it's still slightly. Okay, the, uh, your story map is already published. So we try to check the link that we inserted just now. Yeah. So you just click. Uh, so they are automatic bawa to take by the URL and kita masukkan tadi. Okay. I think that is, that is for our demonstration. Okay, I open the floor for any question ataupun ada apa-apa yang nak tanya from MBIP, Reading Malaysia and UTM. Any question? University Reading? Yeah. Um, Sorry, kena buat citation. You, you boleh buat citation dekat image tu. The edge, the link, ada link kan tadi yang embedded tu. So you, you boleh masuk ke link dekat image tu terus. Okay. Okay. Uh, for this remaining five minutes, I show you the. I mean, uh, I show you the example of uh, the example of story map. Yeah. Okay. If you can do better than this, I'm that two thousand is already yours. Okay. The first prize is already yours. <laughs> but, but you need to do better than this. Okay. Okay, here is the function map yang I mentioned just now. For the uh, number two, number two topic, it will focus on that area, and number three topic will focus on this area. So the map will locate us to that area. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for you, huh? Yeah. 
All right, that's all. So, what did we do? I was doing for the first Okay, we got question from Oliver Bisman. I think this one should be answered by MBIP. So any other question before I end my session? No question. Ah. I I anggap yang this story map is easy for you, eh, guys. Yeah. Okay. So uh, thanks for listening. So I end my session here. So if there are anything, you can drop. You just can text uh, any representative from MBIP. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for hearing and thanks for sacrificing your time this evening. Thank you. Uh Okay, I here is from MBIP. I'm Madam Chu again. So since uh, one audience already asking about what sort of courses that we want to share with you. So actually we have put out a groups in our enterprise just for this competition. So we will offer these existing data available for you to working on it. So that's mean that you are not start from scratch. There is point of bandia, gunatana smasa, land passer, polygon, road networks, and Part of clinic assessments. There's a lot of it uh, over here. Some pattern that errors, some pattern IPD for you to re reuse and bring into your map. However, for those data which is outside MBIP, actually I believe that you have the skill to bring into the data, to bring in and embed it and enrich it into the layer. So we believe these story maps actually have a very high capacity in working with external source of data, bring into even YouTube link and you to presentation and your spatial data, maybe you need some processing over there because the ID which will be prepared by us is creators level, which allow you to create contents and store the contents. So those ID will be available for uh, to all the storytellers in next week. Why? Because we want you to start with narrative writing, just like what Amy is saying. So not straight away working on the mat and then the coding the logic part and you just text it uh, coding it and anything so we want you to really design and your story to make sure that you the directed throughout the topic that you would like to highlight to them and this is a very good practice for you to design thoroughly and what we hope actually you are not starting from scratch also you have a lot of assignment that you did in your campus so why this is something young which is the extension so you can get back your past assignments, studied it, and rethink on how to present it. I believe you must have special topic about environmental, estate affordability levels, um, landscape species that very unique here and there. So what we are assisting you is, we provide an ID, so create the label that allow you to map for yourself and the existing data you can reuse. So now I think, thank you, Amy, for the interview. I pass back to our MC for the day, Puan Nomala. Terima kasih diucapkan kepada Tuan Planner Chuli Ting dan Cik Nur Amy Binti Ramlan di atas penerangan mereka tadi. Urus dia mengucapkan setinggi-tinggi penghargaan kepada Tuan Puan yang masih bersama kami sehingga penghujung acara. Semoga storyteller yang menyertai pertandingan ini dapat menghasilkan story map yang hebat. Diingatkan juga Tuan Puan, terakhir mengemukakan hasil karya adalah pada 31 Disember 2022 dan jemputan ke Majlis Pembentangan dan Penyampaian Hadiah 
akan berlangsung pada 16 Januari 2023 di Auditorium Majlis Bandar Raya Iskandar Putri. Kami berharap Tuan Puan dapat bersama dengan kami secara fizikal dalam majlis tersebut. Sekian saya akhiri acara ini dengan ucapan wabillahi taufik wal hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih.